And now for a practice exercise. Select a mobile application that you think could use a redesign. Review it in detail and then write down any improvements that you would plan to make. The application I've selected to review for the practice exercise is called My Fitness DJ Pro. It's used by fitness instructors to build and manage their class playlists. In this first view of the application, we see a title of the view at the top of the screen, the status playing, edit, and add. All three of these are in blue, indicating their links. We also see a playlist title. To the left of that is a paused icon, which implies that it is what's playing but paused. There's also to the right um, a, a standard element of an arrow, which is a cue that the user can select and drill down to view that playlist. And there are some controls at the bottom of the screen. It looks like playlist is highlighted and that's the screen we're looking at. This UI is employing standard Apple default elements and styles and no effort has been uh, given to creating a visual hierarchy that helps the user get oriented to what to do. The layout of edit and add links is particularly weak. They waste a lot of real estate and they don't use proximity principles to help the experience be intuitive. They're sort of just floating there. But I would place the edit and add links on the top bar on the sides of the title. That's convention in iOS apps and so it would be expected. I would then either move the status playing to below the title and give it a unique treatment or remove it altogether. There is already a visual cue for what's currently playing, the pause icon and the highlighted background state on the playlist name. If I select add, I then am prompted to enter a new playlist name. I select save and I see now that new playlist has populated. But what's wrong here? Now that this new playlist name has populated, the pause icon has disappeared from my yoga class. That's no longer selected. But in the top right hand corner, I still see status playing. So what's happening? I have no idea. Is my yoga class still playing, but uh, no longer paused and has it resumed? Or uh, is nothing happening? I would know based on the audio, but in terms of the visual cues, it's inconsistent. So I would want to make sure that the visual cue supports what's actually happening with the app. And so that would require either changing the status from playing to something else uh, or uh, removing that. If we remove that status, then we're relying just strictly on the visual cues of the highlight and the pause icon, and then there's no confusion. When I drill down into the playlist My Yoga Class, I see details for this view. In the upper left-hand corner, I see the conventional back button. In the upper right, I see the status playing. But again, this is also redundant here because there's a scrubber right underneath the title which shows me how many minutes have lapsed and how many are remaining. So I would want to move add up to uh, the status location in the upper right hand and remove the status from there. But then we have some conflict between the back button and the edit button. And uh, ideally it's good to be consistent. So with this in mind, I would find a more appropriate place for the edit button and then you, uh, place that consistently across the app. So I'd revise what I was just looking at for the previous screen there as well. Uh, and the share link uh, doesn't need to go there. We can find another appropriate place for that. So uh, I would be creating a consistency with the add uh, link uh, and removing the status, relying on the scrubber to show if it's playing or not. Then we also see a list of songs that have already been built in this playlist. I'm going to drill down and take a look at uh, the first song. 
This application allows for the instructor to uh, create time cues and uh, instructions attached to those time cues so that they can use it as a teleprompter as they're going through the class when they want to change to another move or uh, some kind of instruction to give to the class in relation to the sequence. The flow of creating those cues in this application is pretty horrible but I'm not going to get into that right now. What I'd like to discuss here is just this layout and what's wrong with it. The first thing I'd like to point out about this view is minor. The back link in the upper left hand corner doesn't have an arrow in the last view it did. So that's an inconsistency and something that we're wanting to steer away from. So I would add the arrow there. Let's look at the scrubbers and the audio controls. Uh, see based on the time length that the first uh, is the length of the full playlist so that's a cue of where you are in the playlist and then underneath that is the scrubber for this particular track uh, and then we see a countdown below that which is for the um, the segment the cue segment now this is something that I've deciphered but it could use visual hierarchy and design to really help reinforce that and clearly explain what that is. I've had to figure that out. I don't know that immediately when I look at it or at the very least it could be made a lot clearer and cleaner. Then I see some text with a color and that is the instruction that the instructor can enter and color code to make it simple for them to read something or serve as a teleprompting cue to say something to the class. It's, it's messy uh, and that's by default so the presentation of that is really weak and that could be cleaned up to help the experience uh, you know the last thing an instructor wants to do is uh, it wants to have to do is to lean over and scroll to see what they've written so that isn't really well thought out and underneath we see uh, a pause button which would be replaced by play um, if it were paused and on the other side um, track ahead or or track back um, that is an odd placement uh, that could be improved as well. So I would want to rework this whole layout and change the full visual hierarchy to really support the experience that the instructor needs to very intuitively take a quick glance and see exactly what's going on and have these visual indicators that make it easy to distinguish between one element and the next and not have to think about it. This is something that needs to be digested really quickly and that would be my objective for the redesign of this view.